All right, dig me the sweaty skate rat. Uh, I just got in from a session this afternoon. Um, actually did a lot better than a few weeks ago when I went out and failed pretty quickly after about 40 minutes. I'm not sure how long I've been out today. It's been a while. Um, in the heat of the day um, and uh, hung in pretty well. So I uh, figured while I got these things out, I'll do a quick review for you of uh, the pads I'm using. Um, now, some of you guys that have been following my skate content for a while uh, probably know um, I'm a little bit a little bit older skater, and uh, I got back into it again here recently. And um, being an X-ray tech and knowing what hard surfaces can do to bones at velocity, uh, and knowing my limitations in wanting to skate as much as I can. I wear pads. Um, I know they're not for everybody. Some people think they're really lame, they're not cool. Um, even a lot, of, I notice even a lot of vert and pool skaters don't wear them. Um, I think that's a bad idea, personally, but you, you do you, man, you know? Um, the way I figure it though, um, and, I will, and I will say, when I was a teenager and I was skating, I didn't like wearing pads. Uh, for a while, I think I wore uh, wrist guards. Actually, I tried wrist guards, I didn't like them, so I got Smith gloves, they were like padded gloves. I wore them for a while. I think I wore knee, knee pads briefly, but I found them to get in the way for a lot of what I was doing, and that's probably why a lot of guys don't wear them. Um, although I will say, once you kind of get used to them a little bit, um, and uh, they, they become, they just kind of fade into the background and they're not as much of a hindrance because you just start to compensate for them. But anyway, um, so the old pads that I had, um, I got rid of because of the mildew, so I had to get some new ones. I looked everywhere for some pads that were made in the United States. Uh, if they're out there, somebody please tell me in the comments. I could not find any. And then I looked for some that were made anywhere but China, and that was an equally difficult task, and I ultimately had to go with these 187 killer pads, which are unfortunately made in China. But um, they're pretty good. Um, so I'm going to just kind of review them for you a little bit here. Uh, they came as a set, uh, two knees, um, two elbows, and some wrist guards. So the first thing I'll say um, as far as the fit, uh, I got the large, extra large set. And... They fit pretty good in the knees and the elbows. The wrist guards are kind of big. They almost feel like they're a size too big. If I put them on, they, uh, they feel like, they feel like they're made for somebody with much, much bigger wrists than mine. And, um, which if I pull them tight, you can see they go almost to the end of the reach of their, um, to, now I don't think I have particularly small wrists, um, but whatever, that, that was kind of a disappointment. I'm, I'm working around it, it works okay. Otherwise they feel pretty sturdy. Um, as you can see, I've taken a couple of spills on these already, or at least on some hand plants. Um, I did like a layback grind today when I was out. I don't think my shoulder was quite ready for that yet, but um, no real issues with elbow pads. They uh, they fit pretty good. They've got the uh, sleeve and then the double wrap on each end. Um, and these pads are labeled uh, left and right. Um, I don't know if that's always been a thing with elbow and knee pads. I don't remember it being one, but who knows. Um, I'm not crazy about the, um, the knee pads. I've never been crazy about how knee pads fit uh, because they do have the, the big sleeve and then they usually have this wrap 
that comes around and I find it always, you can see it's doing it here. It always, cause it's rounded and cause your leg bends there, it always kind of wants to slip loose and then your knee pad slips down your leg, which is really annoying, uh, especially if you're wearing jeans or something like that. Um, so, and you can even see here if you look, this is coming around here to meet this at an angle. So, I don't know if that's just a design flaw or if it's just old. Maybe they need a, something here, a piece of something to hold it in place. I don't know. But um, the bottom edge may have the solution built into it. I didn't like this at first. The bottom edge has this strap that you just loosen and then you snug it up. Now here's the thing, like I said, I wasn't crazy about this because I like the, 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 the quick and easy grab and go Velcro convenience. But if you loosen this all the way, you can slip this over, I, at least I can, I can slip this over a high top shoe and down a pant leg. So it's not a hindrance there. And when it snugs up, it doesn't move because it's kind of got like a locking, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's, it's kind of angled, angled backwards there. This piece here is kind of angled this way. So it locks in, it's got little teeth. I think this is a better design, uh, personally, because it keeps all the strap apparatus in back instead of wrapping around the front where it can slip. And as such, this really helps it stay in place. I just wish they had done this up top too. So if 187 is watching, there's my design suggestion. So yeah, those are my pads that I wear. Um, you guys already know about my turtle pads that I wear uh, under my jeans for hip and um, glutes and tailbone protection. <clears throat> And then for a helmet, uh, I got the same thing I had last time. I had a triple eight helmet. I was pretty happy with it, so I got another one. Um, now my big old noggin needs a large, extra large. Um, I can't remember, I feel like I put the, it came with two sets of cushioning. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is juicy. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, it came with two sets of, of lining cushions that you can, they just Velcro in, and uh, you could change them out if you needed more of a snug fit. I guess that's how they accomplish large and extra large in one, in one fit. But uh, I feel like I put the, the, the thicker one in for, to snug up the fit a little bit. It was a little loose. Yeah, this stuff um, gives me a measure of security when I'm out skating. Um, I haven't really dinged up this helmet uh, yet, but the other one that I had that I wore for a few years longboarding and then for a few more years street skating uh, had some definite knocks on it. And I can think of a couple of occasions when I kind of fell backwards and I could feel my head hit the pavement in the helmet. So probably saved me a lump or two right there. But uh, like I said, you only get one body, and especially the more extreme you get, when you start going downstairs, doing uh, vert, pools, uh, any place where you travel at high speed, you could have a st sudden stop, a sudden hang. Um, it's good to have something protecting your body because you only get one body. And you wanna take your chances, that's your business. I did it when I was young. But uh, if I were doing it over, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that again. Um, so, uh, but if you do decide to pad up or pad out, whether you're an older guy or someone that just doesn't want to break yourself, um, these are not bad. Um, the helmet is, where's the helmet made here? Helmet is made in China also, unfortunately. I looked around for a helmet brand made in America too. So if you guys know of a helmet made in the United States, please leave it in the comments. 
because um, I would love to patronize them over China. But for now, I went down to my local skate shop and I got what they had. I didn't really have the opportunity to shop around too much more after exhausting my web searches. So um, let me know, you skaters, especially you, uh, you older cats, are you padding out at this time? Uh, do you just wear them for certain things like a skate park or pools or are you throwing them on even when you go out to just tool around in the street a little bit and get some exercise, work on some balance tricks? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for your support. Uh, have more content coming for you soon. So um, God bless and skate safe. Thank you later. And take a shower. <laughs>